Scientists have long believed that Mercury is completely uninhabitable. But the discovery of ice on the Hell Planet raises new questions, including how did the ice get there and why hasn't it melted? It wasn't everywhere in its poles. There wasn't a polar cap. The deposits were localized to the floors of impact craters. What we found was that there, in fact, were locations inside these craters that could be cold enough to have ices. Lying deep in the craters, the water ice is shielded from the sun's powerful rays. And thanks to Mercury's spin axis, the planet's poles stay permanently frozen. The pole is straight up and down, you know, perpendicular to the orbit. The poles of Mercury are extraordinarily cold, minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit. They don't see the sun, and so therefore it stays very, very cold and can keep water frozen for eons. While Mercury's weird planetary spin seems to explain how ice can exist, it doesn't explain the ice's origin. A clue comes from something else detected deep inside the craters. Inside these shadowed craters, on the surface of the ice, there's a material that's about as dark as coal. What is it? What is that dark material on top of the water ice? And the leading idea is that it's organic material. This organic material is a dark mix of complex carbon molecules that could be one of the building blocks of life and it doesn't come from Mercury. That led us to the idea that uh, the water rise on Mercury came from uh, objects that impacted from outside, that those objects brought other volatile compounds, including organic materials. The prime suspects for delivering this messy cocktail of ice and organic materials are comets, dirty snowballs that streak across the solar system and frequently die when they get close to the sun. Just last year, we had two comets that passed uh, fairly close to Mercury. Once every couple million years, a comet hits Mercury and then vaporizes. This material hops along the surface and finds its way into these cold places where it's then frozen and then accumulates. The incredible combination of one in a million comet impacts and deep craters at the poles of a world which doesn't tilt makes it possible for frozen ice to exist on one of the solar system's hottest planets. And it might force us to rethink some of our ideas about where life can exist.